As an artist, I think my favorite gifts to receive are the ones that help me make art or inspire me to create. Hi, I'm Jen, a self-taught digital artist, and over the years of being an artist or someone who just loves art, I've tried and experimented a variety of art supplies, tools, accessory, and stationary items that help and inspire me to be creative. And so as we approach the holiday season and as many of us are looking for the perfect gifts for everyone on our list, I thought it would be very helpful to compile a gift guide for the artist in your life. And also please note that these ideas can be used or considered for other festive or celebratory events or occasion such as birthdays, graduations, anniversaries, and more. I am a digital artist, and I mainly use an iPad along with an Apple Pencil to create my art. And I found that these tools are actually quite common among digital artists, so if the artist you are looking for fits this description, here are some ideas that they might like. iPads are quite expensive, and whenever I take mine out, I like to make sure that it is protected. So I like to put it into a sleeve because it allows it to have extra cushion while in transit. An iPad sleeve or pouch would be super useful for those that are often on the go. And what I think is great about this as a gift is that they come in plenty of colors and patterns to choose from so that you can find something that fits the preference or style of the artist that you're looking for. Another good accessory to have would be a folio case or a stand because it allows you to change the position of an iPad to have multiple viewing angles. I think that this is especially beneficial for digital artists as it allows them to position their iPad at a more comfortable angle for drawing or viewing without having to lay it flat, which over time could cause a lot of neck or shoulder strain. As for accessories for the Apple Pencil specifically, there are two things that I recommend, which are a grip or a cover for the pencil and also the replacement tips. Having a pencil, grip, or a cover provides a more comfortable and ergonomic feel, and it definitely helps reduce hand fatigue from long drawing or writing sessions. It's also nice to have a pack of replacement tips on hand in case the current tip gets lost or breaks from a fall. And lastly, in the tech section, another accessory to consider would be a screen protector. I recently started using the paper-like screen protector, and like the name implies, it provides a paper-like texture to the iPad that mimics the feel of writing or drawing on physical paper. And I think it helps you have more control with your marks because it is less slippery than writing directly on the glass. And so I think this is a great option as a gift to give to somebody. Although I primarily create and share digital art, sometimes I like to experiment with traditional media. So here are some traditional art supplies that would be great gifts for artists of varying skill sets. Acrylic gouache is a really nice painting medium to work with as it is an opaque paint that is also very vibrant. This paint is not water soluble, meaning that it cannot be reactivated once dried but personally, I think it is easier to work with because acrylic gouache is easy to layer and you can easily hide any mistakes you make. I have a set from Holbein and I found these to be a favorite amongst many artists. They have so many colors to choose from, so you can get a couple of tubes of specific colors or a full set depending on your budget. I got a few sets of these Karen Dash pastels a few months ago after seeing a number of my favorite artists use and speak highly of these. And after trying them out for myself, I can say that these are really amazing and I can now understand why so many artists love to use these. They are soft and lay down a nice texture on your paper and they just feel like a high-end crayon that just blends so smoothly. These would make a nice gift, and I'm sure whoever receives them will have a lot of fun experimenting with them. Another fun art supply that could be a great gift would be alcohol markers. I've only recently purchased myself a set of these dual tip Ohuhu markers, and I've been primarily using them to color in my coloring book, 
but they are just so vibrant and they lay down a nice coverage of the color. These markers come in a number of different sets and are definitely a more affordable option compared to other alcohol markers on the market. Every artist needs a sketchbook, and while every artist fills their sketchbooks at varying speeds, they're all going to need another sketchbook when it's finished. Over the years, I've gotten to try out a couple of different kinds of sketchbooks, and the ones that I found myself enjoying the most are the Strathmore Mixed Media Sketchbook, which has a thick textured paper, which is very great for paint, colored pencils, markers, and a variety of other media. The Artica Spiral Bound Square Sketchbook is also another good option that I've recently found. I personally like these for pen and pencil doodles and sketches. And lastly, I also like the Royal Talons Creation Sketchbook, which come in a variety of sizes, but they do have little ones that I like to use for when I'm on the go. I used to think that all erasers work the same until I finally tried a kneaded eraser. These erasers work by picking up the pigment off the paper and it doesn't leave any little crumbs or mess like a normal rubber eraser does. I mostly use it to lightly erase a sketch before lining with a pen and I think this is just an extra little bonus you can include with whatever gift you're giving to an artist as they will definitely find much use with these. If the artist you're shopping for is into fiber arts or considering getting into, I'm sure that they would love to receive a few balls or skeins of yarn. So if you don't know what type or brand of yarn they like, I recommend the Sugar and Cream yarn. They have so many colors and they are made of 100% cotton, which is very great for any garment projects. Now let's get into gift ideas for those who want to continue their creativity outside of their art making. So here are some ideas for any stationary lovers and enthusiasts. Recently, I've delved into the world of fountain pens and I think that they could make a very great gift for artists and stationary lovers. As a beginner to the fountain pens, I really love the Pilot Penmanship Fountain Pen. It's the more budget-friendly option, but I also really love the Twispy Eco. Both pens write beautifully and can be a great way to introduce someone to fountain pens. I think every artist is on a constant journey to find the perfect black pen for inking, sketching, or doodling. I know for myself personally, over the years, I've tried so many. But here, in no particular order, are some of my favorites that I find myself coming back to often. First is the Pilot Bravo, which is a bold and thick felt tip pen. Next is the Pentel Brush Sign Pen, which has a durable brush tip that can make a varying line widths. And next I have both the Tombow Furunosuke in both the soft and hard tips. The soft tip is more flexible and can make more varying line widths than the hard tip, but personally I prefer the hard tip just a little bit more because the soft is just a little too flexible for my liking. And lastly is the Pilot G Tech C4, which has a very fine nib that glides very smoothly across the paper. These are just my favorite pens, and even if these are the same pens that your artist likes, I'm sure they would appreciate having an extra pen or be introduced to a new pen that they might like if they haven't tried any of these out. As artists, we all have plenty of pens, pencils, and other stationary goods that we like to carry around with us, so a nice pencil case would be a great thing to have. I currently have two pencil cases that I often try to use, and I got both of mine from Amazon, and I love that these are quite compact and that they lay flat. These come in several colors and several sizes, so there is something for everyone to like. When it comes to notebooks, I typically look for the paper quality, but also how the book lays. I prefer to have a book that lays flat when I'm using it, and for the paper, I like it to be very smooth and usually thin. So for me, my favorite notebooks are from Midori. They have line, dotted, and blank notebooks, and they come in a variety of different sizes. 
I typically go for the A5 blanks and I've used them as sketchbooks, for journaling, and for regular note taking needs. These are a very high quality notebook, so I think the, these would make very good options for anyone who's looking to get a nicer notebook. On the subject of nice quality paper, I think a Hobonichi planner would also be a good gift to give. I recently decided that in addition to my digital planning system that I also want to have a paper planner to help me stay organized with my day-to-day -day tasks and work. These are a very popular Japanese planner and I think it's because of its very functional layouts their customization options, but most importantly for its high quality and lightweight paper. I've only just received my first ever Hobonichi and I'm very excited to start using it and I think that it would be a very special gift to give somebody. And lastly, another fun stationary item to consider are washi tapes. Washi tape is a type of masking tape that can be used in a variety of creative and practical ways such as decorating pages of your planner or your journal or to make borders to use directly as a masking tape when painting. They come in a wide range of colors, patterns, and designs, and you can find them in so many places. I know many artists, small business owners, myself included, have created their own designs, so this could also be a nice way to support a small business while shopping for your artist, which I'm sure is something that they would really appreciate. Now, if you feel like the options that I've given so far are too specific or you don't want to pick something that they might not like, here are some other miscellaneous options that I think any artist or creative would really appreciate. Whether it is for studying or learning a new technique or skill, or whether it's for finding inspiration and ideas, I think books can be a really nice gift to give or to receive. I have a few books in my small home library that I often reach for. If you're looking for a book that will help them learn, I recommend looking for books that are aligned with the artist's goals and interests. So for example, let's take me. I'd like one day to be a children's book illustrator. So if you're looking for a gift for me, a book like the How to Be a Children's Book Illustrator or The Fundamentals of Character Design would be really good options. As for inspiration, I like looking at art books or books that were made by artists that I like. And for me, for example, I enjoy the style of these two artists and I often refer to their books when I'm feeling like I need a little inspiration. So if you know the style or the artist that your artist likes, try looking for books that fit that. There are plenty of books out there to choose from and so I'm sure that you can find a few options that your artist would really love to have. I don't think you could ever go wrong with having too many storage solutions. I recently picked up a small set of these hay crates to store my inventory for my shop, but I think any artist would love to have a few of these on hand as they are also great for so many uses like storing all that extra art supplies and materials. And lastly, if you're not sure what exactly your artist likes, or if your artist is still in the early stages of discovering what they like, I think you can't ever really go wrong with gift cards. My go-to place for most art supplies is with Blick. They have so many supplies, tools, and materials for almost every art or craft project you can imagine. And for stationery, my go-to places are Yoseko Stationery and Jet Pens. And that wraps up the artist gift guide. I'm sure your artists would appreciate any gift that helps them bring their art to life. And I hope that this list has helped you out in figuring out what to look for, or if you're an artist, what to ask for this holiday season. Thank you so much for watching and for making it to the end. I truly, truly appreciate you so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!